A day after the reboot of the union cabinet, a number of newly appointed ministers took charge of their assignments including Mansuk Mandavia, the new health minister Ashwini Vaishnav, the new railways and IT minister Anurag Thakur, the new information and broadcasting minister and Kiran Rijiju, the new law minister. For the first time in nearly two months, the active tally in the country has gone up. India recorded a single-day rise of 45,892 new COVID-19 cases. The death count has climbed to 4,5028, with 817 new fatalities being reported. The number of active cases comprises 1.50% of the total infections, while the national COVID-19 recovery rate stands at 97.18% an increase of 784 cases that have been recorded in the active COVID-19 caseload in a span of 24 hours. In a setback to India, Britain's Ken Energy has secured a French court order to seize some 20 government properties in Paris to recover a part of the USD 1.7 billion due from the New Delhi following an arbitration panel overturning levy of retrospective taxes. The centrally located properties, mostly comprised of flats valued at more than Euros 20 million, were used by the Indian government establishment in France. Three people with direct knowledge of the matter have told news agency PTI. Twitter today sought eight weeks' time to appoint a grievance officer in India, telling the Delhi High Court that it has appointed an interim chief compliance officer who is a resident of India two days ago. The social media giant also told the court that it will make its first compliance report public by June 11. Twitter gave a time frame two days after the court warned that it cannot take as long as it wants in this country to appoint an India-based officer for it to comply with the country's new IT rules. Australia's New South Wales state on Thursday reported its biggest daily rise in locally acquired cases of COVID-19 for the year as officials struggle to stamp out a growing cluster of the highly infectious Delta variant in Sydney. New South Wales reported 38 new local cases up from 27 a day earlier as its capital Sydney prepares for a third week of lockdown.